Well, the relationship between General Motors and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is under scrutiny in Congress. It all centers on those defective ignition switches in millions of GM cars. 7 Action News investigator Jim Kirstner joins us live now from GM headquarters with this new congressional report. Jim. Yeah, Carolyn, here it is, 46 pages. You may remember we were out here last night telling you that 19 death claims have been approved by the GM compensation program. So the agency under fire today still continued finger pointing at the company for doing the most wrongdoing. GM violated the law. They violated the law when they failed to act at a time when airbags were not working properly in millions of their products. He's the deputy administrator and he's been the interim administrator. He's been with the agency only about a year and a half. NHTSA had no one at the top when GM earlier this year finally recalled 2.6 million vehicles with those ignition switch problems. But even a month before the recall, NHTSA was telling consumers there was, quote, insufficient evidence to warrant opening a safety defect investigation. According to the congressional report, NHTSA has fundamental misunderstanding of car systems. Expertise is not leveraged to cross the agency. The shrug, no different than the GM salute, the way of passing the buck on responsibility and passing the blame. And NHTSA was so bogged down, it could not take on new issues. We have pushed GM to accelerate the pace of this recall, and we are ensuring that GM fundamentally alters the way it approaches safety defects. We are also looking at lessons learned to improve the agency's processes. Earlier this year, NHTSA fined General Motors the maximum $35 million. The Justice Department continues to look into possible criminal charges. As we told you last night, 445 cases have been filed for compensation for injuries and deaths, and we're told cases are still coming in by the hundreds each week. I'm live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you.